a lap 20. But we'll get into the leader uh, track segment in a moment. You had a race off of Pitt Road at lap 20. 24, the 88, the 19, the 48, the 6, the 27, the 8, the 21, the 2, and the 17, respectively. Uh, 24, Jeff Gordon, the winner of that, from that race off pit road. Ryan Newman reports trouble in the 31 car, tr- trouble in the pit box, a fire. And if you saw this, the fire resulted from a hot lug nut that contacted some spilled fuel on the uh, road surface, and that was the cause of that fire. Green flag comes out lap 24, and the restart lap 25. Now, as Mark as mentioned, uh, I think I mentioned this last weekend, the, uh, Ed Jones will be driving the 18 car starting this weekend at Kansas, and David Reagan will be in the 55 car, also starting starting this coming weekend at Kansas. David Reagan started Sunday's race in ninth place and dropped to 30th at lap 28. Um, he had the top five at lap 37, which consisted of Jeff Gordon, Jimmy Johnson, Paul Menard, Ryan Blaney, and Stenhouse Jr., the 24, the 48, the 27, the 21, and the 17, respectively. And then question number two would come out for lap 47. Now, this involved... They said 15 cars involved in this one. And what happened was Trevor Bain, the six car, spins and turns into the wall. After being passed on the outside by Paul Menard in the 27 and on the inside uh, by Kurt Busch in the 41. NASCAR called it the first big one of the race. Uh, Cars involved uh, Trevor Bain, Joey Logano, Casey King, Greg Biffle, Kevin Harvick, uh, Kyle Larson, Justin Aljair, David Reagan, Stenhouse Jr., Lennon Castle, and Tony Stewart. Now, not only did this bring out the yellow flag, but this incident would also bring out the red flag, which came out a lap 47 for cleanup. Again, 15 drivers involved in this one, but all drivers are okay, of course, which is a good one. Good thing. And of course, whenever you see a big crash, everybody's looking to see the driver get out of the car, and that is always a good sign. Kyle Larson, David Reagan, and Trevor Bain's car get towed. And now, remember, no work at all, no work at all is permitted on cars during a red flag. Casey Keene's uh, five car heads to the garage. And the low banking that's saying on the straightaway makes it difficult for cars to keep from getting loose. So very low banking on the straightaway uh, straightaways at uh, Talladega. So the the uh, yellow flag comes back out at 2.47 p.m. Eastern Time. So it's lap 47 into lap 48 now. Pit Road opens at lap 49. And you also had a race over Pit Road at lap 49. The 48, the 78, the 11, the 20, the 24, the 1, the 88, the 27, 21, and the 3, respectively. Jimmy Johnson comes out of that one a winner. Now, you had, uh, let me count here, 1, 2, 3, 4... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 cars had to go and restart at the rear of the pack because of too many guys over the wall. Okay, you had the 51, the 32, the 10, the 47, the 83, the 22, the 98, the 7, the 17, the 31, the 34, the 62, the 4, and the 43. All having to restart at the back of the pack. Green flag comes out, lap 51, and the restart, lap 52. Uh, they go around a couple of times until question number three for uh, debris. This would come out at lap 55. And they, it may have been from Joe Logano's car, a piece of sheet metal. Because after Joe Logano got banged up uh, during the, uh, the big crash that brought out the second caution, uh, they put some sheet metal in there in the front of the car to fix it up, and uh, a piece fell off. And uh, they say that that was the debris. Uh, Joey Gano parallel parks into his pit box, lot 56. That was interesting. And the beneficiary from uh, question three was Ricky Stenhouse Jr. in the 17 car. Now, Kevin Harvick, the four car, gets penalized for too many crew over the wall. Uh, lap 56, he has to start into the rear. And Joey Logano also penalized for too many over the wall. That was lap 57. And he also had to start at the rear. Green flag comes out lap 5-8, and the restart lap 59. Dedica Patrick gets into the top 10 at lap 58. Uh, top 10, actually, at lap 62.
two consisted of seven Chevys and three Toyotas. Three Joe Gibbs Toyotas. And that was uh, Matt Kenseth, Carl's, Carl Edward, and the Denny Hamlin, the 20, the 19, and the 11. Carl Edwards, uh, the 19 car, in the top 10 at lap 62. Uh, and then he wound up dropping to third place at lap 66. Dale Jr. gets into second place at lap 66. And Dale Jr. reports vibration in his car from at lap 68. Although they said it wasn't from a tire. Okay, usually vibrations from the tire in most cases. But this incident was not the tire. But and again, uh, that was reported during lap 68. Jeff Gordon reports his car being loose at lap 71. And uh, at lap 71, Gordon was holding in 10th. Seven lead cars break away from the pack at lap 75. Greg Biffle, the 16 car, returns to the race after that crash and that brought out the second question. He returns to the race at lap 89. And Kevin Harvick, after being involved in the big one at lap 47, gets into the top five at lap 83. Question four comes out lap 90. Brendan Gowen, he hits the wall at turn two. And uh, Brendan Gowen in the 62 car. Uh, Jeff Gordon wins the race off pit road at lap 92. You had 20, the 24, the 48, the 88, the 4, 19, 11, the 41, the 2, the 14, and the 20. And that was the race off pit road again, lap 92. Jeff Gordon, the winner there. Casey Mears penalized for uncontrolled tire on lap 92. And then you have the race halfway mark at lap 94 during the fourth question. Green Flay comes out, lap 94, and the restart, lap 95. JJ Yeary penalized for speeding on pit road, lap 108. Uh, he had a pit for a uh, loose window net. And then question number five would come out, lap 115, uh, and this was for debris at lap t at uh, turn three. Beneficiary uh, there, JJ Yaley, JJ Yaley in the 23 car. Pit Road opens lap 116. You had a, uh, another race off Pit Road lap 116. Jeff Gordon, the winner there as well. Uh, the 24, the 88, the 19, the 48, the 41, the 2, the 78, the 3, the 21, and the 43, respectively. Kevin Harvick's crew over the wall too soon and has to restart at the rear of the field, the incident at lap 117. Uh, and uh, again, can't come over the wall until the car is at least one pit box length away from its designated pit box. Green play comes out lap 118, restart lap 119. 119, yes. Ryan Blaney gets pushed by Carl Edwards, lap 126. Earnhardt Jr. takes the lead at lap 124. Gordon drops to 12 at lap 131. And Danica Patrick. Now, if you want to talk about uh, irritating, Danica Patrick reports transmission trouble, and she only had fourth gear to work with. So, yeah, that was reported at lap 133. Earnhardt Jr. has a 0.10 second lead over Tony Stewart, lap 52. Uh, Tony Stewart would finish at 19th on Sunday. Top three at lap 137 was Dale Jr., Tony Stewart, and uh, Ryan Blaney, the 88, the 14, and the 21, respectively. Jimmy Johnson has to bring on his girl at lap 137. Danica Patrick in six at lap 138. And all four Stewart Haas racing cars uh, were in the uh, top five at lap 140. Excuse me, the, excuse me, the top 15. Uh, for Stewart Haas Racing Cars in the top 15 at lap 140. You had Tony Stewart, which was in second, Harvick, which is in fifth, Danica Patrick in tenth, and Craig Bush in twelfth, and again lap 140. Jimmy Johnson, Jimmy Johnson finally gets rid of that debris on his grill, reported lap 142. And then you had a battle for second between Tony Stewart and Kevin Harvick at lap 144. Kevin Harvick and Johnson flip flop for third. And then you had a top three at lap 149, consisting of Earnhardt Jr., Cole Edwards, and Tony Stewart, 88, 19, and 14. Uh, they formed a single line along the yellow line right there, lap 149. Lap 155 is your the green flag pit stops, which take way at that point. And then question number six would come out for lap 157. This time for fire on the number three car, Austin Dillon, who walks away uh, and hit. 
his car, he stopped the car right in front of the fire truck area, which was very convenient. Uh, I think his engine blew on that one. That was uh, lap 157 for question six. Josh Weiss and Jeff Gordon, they sort of passed through penalties. They were penalized for speeding on pit road at lap 158. Uh, they served the pass through penalties at lap 160. He had another race over pit road at lap 159. Kurt Busch, the winner right there, he had the 41, the 11, the 15, the 4, the 1, the 78, the 31, the 27, the 14, and the 43, respectively. Greg Biffle penalized for speeding on pit road at lap 160, and then the green flag comes out lap 161, we start lap 162. Top three at lap 164 consisted of Dale Jr., Jimmy Johnson, and Ryan Blaney, the 88, the 48, and the 21. Dale Jr. runs the high line at over 200 miles per hour at one, lap 166. Jeff Gordon climbs to 17th place after restarting at 31st at lap 167. Brad Keselowski in 32nd at lap 175. He was in the top five, and he climbs to 29th at lap 176 at 200 miles an hour. Tony Stewart drops from 11th at uh, 175. Then the top three at lap 180, which consisted of Dale Jr., Jimmy Johnson, Ryan Blaney. Dale Jr. struggles with debris on his grill, and uh, water temperature uh, was an issue due to that. And of course, he had debris on the grill. The water temperature goes up because that debris uh, prevents the air from uh, correctly flowing into the under the carriage of the car. Top ten break break from the uh, pack. The top ten break from the pack at lap 183. Dale Jr., Jimmy Johnson, and Denny Hamlin were your top three at lap 186, going into 187. White flag comes out lap 187 and lap 188 series to deal and your winner Dale Earnhardt Jr., Jimmy Johnson, and Paul Menard. First, second, and third. This is the Racing Podcast. And now for the lead track summary. Jeff Gordon takes the lead from the race start into the completion of lap 1 into the start of lap 2. Casey Kane takes the lead at lap 4. Tony Stewart, lap 5. Casey Kane takes it back at lap 5. Tony Stewart takes it back again at lap 6. Then Casey Kane, lap 6. Stewart, lap 7. And he'll take it uh, from lap 7 into lap 8. Bernhardt Jr. takes the lead at lap 11. And then Jeff Gordon takes the lead at lap 16. Uh, now, Kevin Harvick would take the lead at during the first caution, uh, but then Justin Aljay will take over Bobby Labonte, and then Jeff Gordon takes it back during the first caution, and he would hold on uh, into the restart at lap 25. Second caution comes out, Kurt Busch takes over for the lead as Jeff Gordon pits. Jimmy Johnson then takes the lead into the restart lap 52. No changes during the third caution, but in the fourth caution, he had three lead changes. Uh, David Gillian takes the lead. David Gilliam in the 38 car. He takes the lead as Jimmy Johnson pits. Then Josh Weiss takes the lead. And then Jeff Gordon takes the lead into the restart. Lap 95. And then it was back and forth between Jeff Gordon and Jimmy Johnson between laps 95 and lap 99. Eventually, Jimmy Johnson would take the lead at lap 99. But Gord and Gordon would actually drop the third at lap 99. Dale Earnhardt Jr. takes the lead lap 103. Jimmy Johnson lap 104. Denny Hamlin lap 104. Then you had your, the fifth question. Casey Mears would take over at lap, uh, in the 13 car. Then Jeff Gordon would take over again during the fifth question into the restart at lap 119. Dale Earnhardt Jr. takes the lead, lap 124, and he holds on until lap 147. Then Tony Stewart takes over, lap 147 into lap 148. But then Earnhardt Jr. would take the lead right back at lap 149. Stewart would drop to third at this point. Jimmy Jr. pits, so Stewart takes the lead back, lap 156. Then Denny Hamlin takes the lead at lap 156. Then comes the sixth caution. Stenhouse Jr. would take the lead in the 17 car during question number six. Then Cole Witt would take the lead in the 35 car. He would hold on until the green flag at lap 162. But Witt would not be in front for long because Dylan Hart Jr. takes the lead at lap 162. And he would hold on to the lead from lap 162 all the way to lap 188, ultimately winning the race there. And a good win for Dale Jr. indeed. All right, this is the Racing Podcast. 
Up next, the racing schedule.